Hi everyone, we are Fran and John, the Corporate Breakout Couple. Ever since we retired in year 2020, a lot of people asked us, Hey, so what do you guys do every day? Do you only just stay at home, watch TV, drink coffee and read the newspaper? Aren't you bored not having a job to go to? So in today's video, we're going to show you a day in the life of a retired couple in Penang because we are based in Penang currently at the moment. Oh, by the way, I forgot. It's an early retired couple because we are both only 43 years old this year. The purpose of the video is to highlight to you that an early retirement doesn't mean just doing nothing. You know, that might be true for our parents' generation and the generation before that. But currently, because we choose to be early retired, there's a lot of activities that we want to do that we weren't able to do back when we were at work. So by showing you this video, we hope that we can inspire you guys to hopefully, you know, join us in this early retirement journey as well. Enjoy! Good morning! This morning, we woke up at 7 a.m. We fed the dog, took him for a walk. And now we are at our neighborhood, well, one of the neighborhood uh, coffee shops for breakfast. And breakfast is our favorite meal of the day because there's so much variety of food in Penang, especially for breakfast. Let's go! You can go back to the same coffee shop for a week and still eat different things. That's how much variety there is. And this is just one coffee shop. Hey, our food is here. So I'm eating a delicious plate of sao fat. Oh, so yummy with an egg. And for me, you know in Penang there's a lot of famous food like Cha Kwe Tiao, like Asam Laksa and Hokkien Mee. But for me, the hidden secret is that wonton mee. Look at how awesome it is. And to wash it down with my tessi. Oh yeah, I'm bringing a cup of uh, black coffee with ice kopi all pain kosong. Oh, what a wonderful breakfast. Okay, and of course I'm gonna dig in now. Yay! Usually before gym, we'll get a little bit of work done. So besides video editing, I will spend a little bit of time to go through the financial markets and the real estate markets around the world as I believe that it's important to keep an active approach on our passive investments. So even though our passive investments are generating us income while we sleep, it's still important to do our due diligence to have our monitoring during the weekdays. As for me, I use this time to play games on my phone. Nah, I'm just kidding. So what I do actually use this time for is to brainstorm for ideas for our future YouTube videos. In life, there's only two types of stages, growth or decay. If you're not growing, it means that you're decaying. Think of a tree. When a tree stops growing, actually it's already starting the decaying process. So for us, being in creation mode creates growth. Eh? This can be a video idea in itself. What, what do you guys think? Is If we made a video about growth and decay and how it impacts your life, would you guys want to watch it? Let me know in the comments below. Working out is a very important part of our lives. As young early retirees, it's very important to take care of our health so that we can live strong and live long. With the busy schedule we have, it is easy to forget about working out. Hence, we incorporated working out as part of our lifestyle. I engage a personal trainer so that I learn how to use all the equipment in the gym properly and effectively. She also helps me to work on all the different muscle groups in the body and because we love food, working out is a must and this is a great way to spend our mornings. Getting a coach is always beneficial as they can always see your blind spots. Woo! What a great session workout! <sighs> I'm actually quite tired because my body's aching but at the same time I feel invigorated. Woo! So, um, we're hungry, or oh, I'm hungry. John, are you hungry? Yeah, <laughs> So, we're going off to lunch now. We're meeting a, a couple who's driving up to Penang. They are from Ipoh, so they're spending a day in Penang and we're meeting them for lunch. Very exciting. And this lunch place is one of my favorites. Uh, we're taking them there because they've never been. This lunch place is uh, one of our favorites. You can have it for breakfast, brunch, or lunch and I'm going to share it with you in a while. So this place is very special to us because it, the food is very yummy and I love to bring our out of town guests too because it's something unique that I feel that you can only find in Penang. 
We are here! Woo! So this place is called Pang Hainan Seafood and they serve Hainanese Nasi Lemak. So this version is Hainanese Nasi Lemak. It comes with a choice of chicken, prawn or fish and then it comes with half a half boiled hard boiled egg, cucumber and you must not miss the delicious sambal. So now we are ready to order our food. Vanessa and Emma are here and I'm going to order in Penang Hokkien. Okay, look at that. Chipwa no teke. Yeah, go chipwa si chiteke no te hu. Yeah, go chipwa si chiteke no te he. Yeah, uh, why si sate saboy he, uh, chiboy hu. Yeah, kaliao timun kache. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you, brother. So, guys, I'm very excited to introduce you to my friends or our friends, Vanessa and Edmund. They are a retired couple as well, but they live in Ipoh and they're here in Penang for a day trip. Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm from Ipoh. Yeah. I'm retired early here. Hi, I'm Edmund. And Edmund's a Singaporean, just yeah. like John. <laughs> and the food's here, so we can customize our nasi lama and check it out. Everyone's is different. So you've got one chicken, two prawns, two fish, one chicken, three prawns, one fish, and John's is two pieces of fried chicken. I'm so happy to meet like-minded people like Vanessa and Edmund, and we had a great time hanging out and talking about business ideas and personal finance. We see them as trailblazers as they retired 10 years ago, also around the age of 40 years old. watching movies on weekdays because not only do we get great discounts but look there's practically nobody around so when we bought the tickets it was like only I think we were the only the four people in the cinema so that's what we like to do we like to watch movies on the weekdays To spend every minute that we can of our free time with our dog who's 14 years old and if uh, and most of y'all may not know this but we nearly lost him a few months back and it was about a five or six agonizing hours until we found him again and he was actually found around this area this uh, a local park in my neighborhood and we are so grateful to the kids who actually found him and you know he's uh, getting old in years so we cherish every moment that we have with our little dog and we are off to dinner we are now on the road to one of our regular eating spots so usually at this time the roads are pretty jammed you have people going off work and then people going off for dinner and now during the Puasa month uh, 7 30 is the time where they 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 break their fast so Buka Puasa is when the Muslims they end the fast for the day and in Penang Buka Puasa timing is at 7.30 where the sun sets so that's why there's a little bit of jam especially this period as everyone's rushing home so that they can prepare their food and uh, open their fast in time and we are at the Pulau Tikus Night Market and we are going to eat Penang Lok Lok this is the Penang Lok Lok so it's a Chinese steamboat with an uh, assortment of different types of meat dishes like uh, vegetables, fish ball, meatball and seafood. So what's special is the sauce. So usually the sauce, you put it with a mixture of satay sauce like this as the base and then you put in some chili and a mix of green chili as well. Right? And then you mix it together you steam your lok lok and then you eat. I love lok lok because there's a huge selection of food for me to choose. And I can pick and choose and decide exactly what I want to eat in that moment. And usually, I will eat more than I plan for. More often than not, we will share tables with strangers and eat together in a communal setting. And we often have little conversations with them which we enjoy. Check out the number of sticks of lock lock that we ate. I only ate six of them, which means that John ate the rest. Yeah. 
This is the Lock Lock Boss counting in his own unique way the number of sticks that we ate in Hokkien. After a yummy dinner, we are here for our daily coffee. Come, let's go in for coffee and dessert. What a sweet way to end a fruitful day. We really love little moments like this as it creates special memories. After a lovely visit, now it is time to head home to watch some Netflix. After a great Netflix movie, now it's time for bed. <laughs>